That's right, the winners of Last Man Standing Europe, more specifically Spain, won a chance to come to New York City and see how we ball in the hood. Here's a quick review just in case you haven't been paying attention. The guy in the blue shirt, that's Nacho, aka The Beast, dunking his way to the finals in Last Man Standing, Spain. And while Nacho was abusing all oncomers, Carlos was working his way to the finals with his signature pull-up jumper. Alright, so Nacho beats Carlos in the finals, but they both win a trip to New York City, aka the Mecca of Hoops. Yeah, we put these guys up in downtown Manhattan, one block away from Times Square, but within hours, they were in the hood. Harlem, USA, 132nd and Lenox Avenue, just blocks away from one of New York's hottest tournaments. The first rule in street ball, if you want a good seat, you got to get there early. So Nacho, what do you think so far? Yeah, I love the guy on the microphone. He's he's uh, talking the nicknames. Hey, everybody, to everybody, everybody has a nickname. That that's good. We don't have that over there. And and of course the crowd. Every time you score a three pointer or you make a trick or you make a good crossover, they scream, they clap, they do everything. And, and this is real funny. It's real funny to see. And if you are playing, uh, you know you feel good over there. That's Carlos down on West Fourth Street. Doesn't speak a lot of English, but we could tell he was having a time of his life. Next stop the dance theater in Harlem, where they were to meet the Harlem Wizards and watch them put on a show. Okay, uh, first thing to say about Harlem Wizards is that they are great, great uh, people, great people. They were so funny with us, so friendly. Uh, we don't know them, and they were asking things about Barcelona, about Spain. So first thing is say that they are like our friends uh, from all my life, you know. And then uh, what I want to say is that they can do like tricks like very difficult tricks, very hard tricks, and I was, uh, I can't believe what I saw when tricks started to do, uh, like bouncing the ball and passing the ball around the, his body and everything, and then DP was dunking, you know, and everybody was doing his thing, and uh, we love, we love that, uh, we love that thing. Yo, check out my man Carlos, showing the Wizards that in Spain, they got tricks too. It's showtime. The start is DP and Eric Broadway Jones warm up the crowd. After the introductions, it's on. Hanging with the Wizards, it was all good, but it was time to move on. 155th Street and 8th Avenue, that can only be one thing, one place. This dude Carlos, he was still doing tricks. Holcomb Rucker Basketball Course, a.k.a. the Rucker. I ain't even got time to tell you the history that is taking place here. And if you're already on GameOverNYC.com, you already know. And it's got to be every baller's dream to come down to this park, take a few shots, break a few ankles. Carlos, Carlos, I said break a few ankles. Lace them up. Next stop, Dykeman. Okay, uh, what uh, I saw yesterday on Dykeman, it, it was like for a Spanish guy like me, it's, it's like a dream to see everybody playing in the street. They play so hard, so tough. Uh, the people is watching and, and screaming uh, at the players. And, and for us, uh, it's for like, uh, like a dream to play with that guy so in that Dykeman playground or in Racket or whatever. And that was like a, a very good experience. And I, and I love that kind of basketball that they play here in New York. Well, that was it for this trip, fellas. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get out of here. For more highlights, go to the Game On link and click on Last Man Stand. Only at GameOverNYC.com.